Welcome back, crypto enthusiasts. It's your boy, Crypto Danks, back with another banger talking about ZF, ZK Swap Finance today. First of all, hit that notification bell, hit that subscription button if you haven't already, and let's get this show on the road. Uh, obviously, I've been sick. I haven't been making any videos. It's been pretty rough, but, you know, duty calls. We gotta make these, uh, we gotta put the info out so everybody's aware of what's going on these days and uh, do my best to work with the community so we can all be on the same page or at least try to get there. So <clears throat> ZF, ZK Swap Finance. If you don't know what it is yet by now, you need to go to zkswap.finance, all right? This is the first swap to earn platform built uh, as a zero knowledge roll up to the Ethereum blockchain. It is sitting at $22 million market cap. It's kind of crazy to see because I put the first buy alert out at $180,000 market cap. So pretty cool to see something that you have a lot of faith in go this far. Um, just feels cool, you know. It's nice to see. It's When you have conviction in something, it goes to tell you no matter what somebody says about you or your project or what the fuck could possibly be, just know that if you believe in something, fuck everybody else. <laughs> so, what do we got? ZK Swap Finance, it's at seven cents, a little under. It's a great buying opportunity, but we could be headed for a better one. I do have some TA drawn up here uh, from before, and I'll show you how I got this zone right here. So just very simply from Fibonacci's pulling from the top, um, we end up finding ourselves in the golden zone, which is between these two numbers, right? The 618 and the 0 0.5, which is right here and here, all right? So the golden zone is a natural retracement that will happen in order to bring where our buy zone might potentially become. It could be at the top of this area, the bottom, underneath a little bit, right in the middle, or just tapping it. But in some way, shape, or form, typically we end up reaching this, we might end up reaching this area. Now, what's indicating to me that we are heading this direction, we have the 50-day moving average, which is this little blue turquoise color moving average it has now officially crossed over what we call the death cross all right i guess i should mark that red but anyways it's the death cross right here okay the blue is going through the white purple whatever you want to call it and going over the top of the chart the candlesticks are now going to start using the blue as resistance all right so that only, not only that, the blue will move down, the red will move down as well, which sticks close to the candlesticks, and then the purple will start to move down as well. We might end up ha letting that happen. It might end up letting that happen until we reach the goldies, the golden Goldilocks, the golden zone. And once we reach that, then I would say this is a massive accumulation area before we have the next leg up. That's just based off of my very basic technical analysis, no reason to get super technical here for me. Uh, it's pretty clear cut. The only problem is if we do do this, this golden zone down here, we're going to be breaking the lower high, uh, higher high situation. We actually would like to see a push up from here. So we have higher highs, higher lows, and then a higher high again. So that would be the ideal situation. However, more likely than not, we might end up be being right in our golden zone. And we're heading there already, it looks like. Um, the 15 minute chart is using the 50 moving average, just like I said, as resistance. You can see here, it's just bouncing up and down off of the blue, right? So it's just using blue as resistance uh, and just kind of you know over here it came up a little bit but it is moving and pushing downwards so we're just gonna have to see but it does look to me like we're heading straight to this area so I'd be very curious to see if that actually executes so I'll just kind of leave that there for now <clears throat> so 
It's built on, this is, the whole thing is built on the Z, ZK Sync era mainnet. Um, and the ZK Sync blockchain, all right? So it's, you know, it, it's a layer two um, built for, you know, somewhat privacy, zero knowledge. If you don't know about what zero knowledge is, I highly recommend you look it up. It's not, it does not fall. And I've, I've been very adamant to make sure that this is specific to ZK Sync era. It does not fall under privacy chain like Monero or any other privacy sector cryptos that are having an issue. And the reason why I bring this up and I'm trying to spread awareness is because the ZK Sync era mainnet not being a privacy network is important because privacy chains are getting one delisted from exchanges, especially tier ones, <clears throat> as, as well as the government is is regulating exchanges to a point to where they will not allow them to uh, host uh, privacy tokens, privacy chains, stuff like that. They don't want it. So uh, this does not, uh, apparently, as I talked to the founder of ZK Swap Finance, uh, Ryan, he says that it does not fall into privacy sector and they have no op, uh, issues with listings. Um, and they have their main net on many different um, centralized exchanges already as we speak, right? So um, that being said, just know that this is the first swap to earn platform. So what does that mean? You get free tokens when you swap, you get free ZF, all right? So every two weeks you claim your reward, you know, you claim your rewards every two weeks in the rewards section over here uh so it says my zf to claim right now is 900 uh zf which is actually not terrible amount at this price what is it it's uh seven cents so if you just take uh 900 and you multiply it by seven cents you know 63 bucks you know just for swapping i've gotten 63 dollars i only made a few transactions I think I swapped a few thousand bucks. It was like one or two transactions and that's it. So you just go and you claim and you just keep stacking your bag and you keep swapping and, and whatnot. But in order to be eligible for the swap um, for your rewards, you have to sign up for the swap board. That's where the link down below is important. You got to click the link for the swap board to get your rewards. I tell people all the time, like I really don't benefit from this. I do, you know, um, get the invites and stuff like that the team notices it's not it really doesn't help me that much it helps you more than anything to get your rewards all right so it's very important you use the link down below to get those all right um here we've got all the verified blocks all the transactions and i wanted to pull open um the top traders you know there are people that have made money already um you know, someone spent 27 grand, he made 132K, good on him, you know, great for you. I, um, you know, if you sell early, that's fine, you make your money, who's not, I'm not gonna frown at a couple hundred K, you know, 150K, that's life-changing money for some people. You gotta take your bag and split, it's all good. You know, people put in 1,600, cash out 35K. What other business are you gonna put in 861 bucks and make $30,000, you tell me. Nowhere, nowhere, okay? So these people have made money, that's fine. Let's look at the holders. Uh, it doesn't show holders or liquidity providers here. There has been some pretty nice buys coming in. I've been just monitoring the buys and sells lately. Nothing huge on the sell front. Um, you know, a couple thousands here, a couple thousands there, mostly in the buys and uh, the sells. There are some bots playing this game as well. Um, but that's just to be said with any, um, you know, Dex or altcoin or stuff like that. That's lots of bots are always involved. So just kind of wanted to cover a little bit of ZK swap finance. You know, the thing is we're sitting currently at, um, let's take a look here. So we're sitting currently, I think like $22 million market cap. Um, what do I think we could do from here? You know, the numbers, they vary widely, uh, mostly because 
uh, we're comparing this token, this is this ZF, this um, this Dex to you. Like, there's not much to compare it to as far as like the caliber that it's on, right? So we're comparing it to Uniswap and Pancake Swap and stuff like that, and it's really hard to get a really round, nice figure to say, hey, like this is probably where we're headed. The reason why I say it's hard to say at $21 million market cap is because um, Uniswap w had like less circulating supply at the time of the bull run in 2021, and it hit $220 billion in market cap. Of course, it's Uniswap, so you know the numbers are a little skewed, but... If you just think about us getting a sliver, 10% of that, that's, you know, 20 billion. 1% of that is 2 billion. So I think that we can reach anywhere from 500 to 3 billion without any hiccups or issues. Um, especially given the fact that there's 1 billion tokens. And if you go to Uniswap, it's the same. There's 1 billion tokens. And actually... They've been cut in half um, into 530 million tokens on ZK Swap Finance. You can see 1 billion tokens here, uh, 11 billion dollar market cap in the bear market. And uh, they've been doing very well, actually. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't put any money into Uniswap uh, this go around. Probably should have around $3, but I didn't. Nonetheless, um, this is what we're comparing it to, you know, pancake swap. This is this is the decks that we're really looking to take out um, as the leading decentralized exchange, um, because this is the thing. Like right now, you can bridge your tokens, right? So they have all of these main nets that you can bridge from. Okay, so you can bridge ETH to ETH to buy zk sync or ZF or whatever you want. Um, that's on the network. So the thing is though, that they haven't implemented it into swaps yet, right? So once you start implementing the swap of cross chain, so like up here, right? This is where I wanna see them start adding BNB, Ethereum, um, you know, Optimism. And then once they start adding one by one by one by one, that's when we're going to start seeing a really big difference in the price action and the interoperability of people using the site itself. Once you start seeing more mainnets being added as a cross-chain swap board uh, swap type of decentralized exchange, that's when we're going to start seeing bigger numbers. Um, <clears throat> here, this is their heat map by market cap. Um, Obviously, the block size uh, is the market cap size here. So, you know, there's competition, obviously, in the space. And then also, it's just showing a daily review of the overall heat map for um, the site. So, like I said before, um, sign up for the swap board. And I personally think this could easily take over PancakeSwap, Uniswap. I mean, the gas fees are insanely cheap. You know, to bridge from uh, Ethereum, like I bridged Ethereum to ZK Sync yesterday, it was about 4000 bucks. I mean, it cost me $30, but after that, once you're on the ZK Sync mainnet, like all the transactions are dirt cheap. Like you can transact 3000 bucks, 2000 bucks for less than a dollar, like 17 cents, 40 cents, shit like that. So it's very affordable to use. Um, it's a very fast, fluid, nice, very appealing looking website. Another thing is I look at the swap board to see if the participants have gained. Last week it was in the 70,000s. Now we're in the 80s. We're going to be soon breaking 100,000 participants. And this, this thing is going to go out of control. Like I have a big feeling that ZK Swap Finance is going to explode. Not only that... The Z, you start seeing ZK here and there on different projects. This is telling me that zero knowledge is going to make a big appearance on the grand stage of the bull run this, this bull cycle. And I do not think anything less. I think that zero knowledge is here to, 
to really make a name for uh, what it does, why it's important, and put its stamp on multiple different projects and eventually probably be a front runner along with AI, along with gaming. I think something that is ZK, like that has that zero knowledge to it, it's going to be one of those narratives zero no oh it's a zero knowledge oh it's an ai oh it's a gaming so that's kind of where i'm on that line um and how i'm feeling about it so just wanted to drop in say what's going on and uh, let you know how i'm feeling about zk swap finance today please uh, join the family if you need a community where we you want to get in early or you want to talk about crypto or you you need some guidance it's a really great place to be join the patreon down below there's a link um, it's truly like family. There's so much alpha in this. We're always searching for new cryptos. We have a crypto research team of, uh, like eight people that we're researching and we work together on a daily basis. So I highly recommend you hop in there, at least give it a shot for a month. If you don't like it, go ahead and get out. It's all good. No hard feelings. Anyways, crypto danks. I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.